of the final series of the year between the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Cesar Hernandez. With the season coming to a close, the senior circuit's leading hitter makes his case for... Luis Garcia, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. A pause, and the 0-2. High pop-up. Franco is there. And that's the first out of the inning. And now a moment to show you the lineup for Atlanta in this one. Mark, what do they have to do to take down a very hot team here on the road? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Now the 0-2 pitch fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Alfaro is over to take a look. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Fouled off. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. And it's fouled away. Just getting started here in Philly. Two once more. High in the air down the right field line. Williams is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. First baseman number five. Freddie Freeman. Stepping in for the Braves. Freddie Freeman. He's definitely a long ball threat. Currently third in the National League in that category. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Sean Newcomb gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having Leading lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Now a swing at a ball popped in the air back behind short. Swanson stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Mark DeRosa tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak. Matt you take a look at this lineup and they're frustrating to watch at times because they ground into the most double plays in the league. You want to talk about a pitcher's best friend. You finally get a guy on first base and you're coming unglued first pitch down below the knees grounding into a double play and bailing everybody out. I need better approaches out of this lineup today. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, Dero, Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but he's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. Right 
back at him, and it hit him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one, he blew right by him. Second one, timing was on point. He was able to get a hit. Stepping up now, Cesar Hernandez. He comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. First delivery to him on the way. Soft liner towards center. In there, a base hit. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. From the stretch. Line drive to left. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And now this is thrown wildly just getting it into the infield. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Now in the box, Justin Bohr. He brings a hit streak that currently sits at six games entering play. Here comes the first pitch. Sliders in for a strike. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mound and around the home plate area is really getting soaked wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Batting fifth, third baseman, Mike Franco. So coming to the plate, Michael Franco. And the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. Looking to minimize the damage here. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies one and the Braves nothing. And now the Atlanta number four hitter Preston Tucker. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Preston Tucker. First delivery to him on the way. Started to go around but it's ruled strike one anyway. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And the guy manning shortstop today is J.P. Crawford. This guy, he doesn't have the quickest feet in the game, but he has unbelievable range, a strong arm, and very, very quick hands. And he is just the start of the new wave of the next line of great shortstops. Fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two seam fastball. The two one. Bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Runners off for second. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Hoskins waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. And the next in is Johan Camargo. Matchup numbers with Luis Garcia. Two hits in seven tries. 
Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Again, he sends it out of play. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Leading off for the Phillies. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Swing and a miss one and one. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. The one one. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Time for a look at the Braves on D. Hey, let's focus on Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. He plays one of the most reliable first basemen in the game. Makes the routine play. Not only that, he can pick and grin, saving his infielder some serious errors. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Luis Garcia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Albies is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson, the first to bat here in the inning. Ready with the 0-1. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Number 15. The next to bat for Atlanta, Sean Newcomb. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Behind 0-2 now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Count remains at 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Here's Ender Inciarte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Herrera moving in. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. In now, Odubel Herrera. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Hard hit ball to second. And there's one down now. Now 
batting. Right fielder, Jim Williams. Now batting, Nick Williams. First pitch coming, here it is. A swinging bunt to the mound. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Up next for Philadelphia, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Striding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. He reached on a single in his first try. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 in it? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. We'll see Nick Markakis when we come back. It's the Phillies 1, and the Braves nothing. Stepping in, Nick Markakis. As we begin the top of the fourth. Nick Markakis. He's set. Here it comes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hoskins waits on it. Makes the play. One away. First baseman number five. Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman. First pitch of the at bat. Right over the middle, knee high. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Hit hard on the ground is short. Crawford has it. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The left field number 20, Preston Tucker. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Preston Tucker and Dan it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings. No doubt about that Matt. Hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his bit and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Braves are set down one two three. They're down one nothing. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Hit hard on the ground at first. Freeman is up with it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, first baseman, Justin Moore. Digging in. Justin Bohr. First delivery to him on the way. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Third baseman number seven, Michael Franco. Striding in, Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? Settling under it is Marcakis, and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies down in order, but they're up one to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Flowers. A base hit in his first trip. Tyler Flower. First pitch coming. Here it is. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. 
This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher able to pound the zone with all different options. Here comes another 0 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Williams is under it. One down. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. First offering on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And a fastball just a bit high. Now the one and one pitch. There's a slider taken for a ball. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here now the 2 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. Lifted down the line in left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Fly down in his first at bat, so make it 0 for 1 so far. A lot of movement that time. It's 0 and 2. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. And he'll make it to second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. Popped him up. Alfaro moving to his left. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. One left for Atlanta. It remains one nothing. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Leading off for the Phillies. The Georgia. Here's the first pitch to him. Crawford. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys. 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting, catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Striding into the box, Jorge Alfaro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. The batter. Settling in now, Luis Garcia. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch on its way. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Marquecas is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Both teams battling the elements thus. So here now is the pitcher, Sean Newcomb. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Behind 0-2 now. And not much of an effort there as he'll look at strike three called. And on three pitches, he's your first out of the inning. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled away. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Popped him up. Moore is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder. Nick Markakis. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. No hits to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Missed with a slider. 
pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Another try at two two. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Crawford will put this one away and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Softly on a line to third. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Well, I think we're gonna have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow, tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Phillies have elected to. So here's one last look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy I'll tell you what I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The wind up and the 0 1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. Drilled the first. That'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. Hey, D-Row, that's a one-out single right there. And hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Fly ball out toward left center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And the score is the runner from first. It's a 2 0 ball game. So that's his second knock of the game, and you can add this to his ever growing list of multi hit performances this season. Does this guy ever look bad at the dish? I mean, really doesn't. Fighting for a batting crown, throwing out multi knock games daily. It's going to be a fight to the finish right here. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Hernandez, the runner at second with one away. Curveball hit right back at him. And he'll send it on to first, and that'll freeze the runner at second with two away now. Ready now, Justin Bohr, runner in scoring position with Sujan. Working to keep them in the game here. On the ground to the right side. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. 
Boy, after that base knock right there, d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Markakis. Gone! So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field. Number 28 on the season as they extend the lead to five to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Aaron Blair, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. This is flared out towards second. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan. How frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 0-1 on its way. Chopped weakly to the left. The throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Carlos Santana will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 41, Carlos Santana. Thrilled to the right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, and the throw by Marquecas is a beauty. He is out at home plate. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Vince Velasquez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 28. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. It'll be interesting to see if the pitcher goes back to that. I don't know if the hitter was trying to work the ball the other way, but whatever it was, it just did not look good. A ball and two strikes now. Uh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Preston Tucker. He flew out in his last at bat. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on-deck circle. He was taken all the way, and he was going to zone him up. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Up next for Atlanta, Captain Tyler Flowers. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hey. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. Zero. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2.
Curveball locks him up. Strike three, and that's the third out. Braves are set down one, two, three. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Odubel Herrera. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied into straightaway right. Marquez has a read on it. Makes the play one away. The right fielder number five. Nick Williams. Up next will be Nick Williams. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. This is pulled into right. Markakis is right there as he takes it for the second out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. And case in point why he's one of the best bats in the business as he's aboard for the third time today. He has had so many multi-hit games this year. Why are we surprised he mixed in another three-hit performance? I expect this guy to finish strong and fight for the batting title up until his last at bat. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He swings and grounds it to short. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in, Ozzie Albies. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. This is line to left. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. You know, Dero, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we'll get late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Standing in Dansby Swanson in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground. No balls in one strike. Comes set and the 0 1. A changeup over the inside corner. Oh man that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. Kurt Suzuki will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1 0. His lifetime line against Velasquez. He's got a 3 for 7 line. He also has one home run. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. The one-two. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Strand one. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Max Fried is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a soft liner. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit.
Digging in and looking for more, Mike Del Franco. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Hit high and deep to right center. And therefore it is Marcakis, and that's your first out. The batter number two, shortstop, JP Crawford. And that'll bring in JP Crawford. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air to left. Tucker is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now batting, catcher. Ready for another chance. Jorge Alfaro. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. From the belt, the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Tucker will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia, but they hold. Here's Ender in Ciarte. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Popped him up. Crawford ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. A reminder while we have a chance, we'll have post game highlights from Philadelphia immediately following the conclusion of the game. Now, a first pitch curveball floats a bit high that time. It's a ball and no strikes. His lifetime line against Velasquez. Pretty average results. Four for 15. He's also gone down on strikes five times. In for strike two. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself. That's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door. Or that could get some serious damage done to it. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nick Marcakis goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet hit hard towards second, and that'll get down for a two-out single. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat-to-ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D-Row, of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Curveball looked at here for strike one. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Curveball close, but it's 1-1. If you're in the box right now, you've got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Yank on the ground down the line. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Now with the play, Tyler Flowers. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. And with that win, they've joined some elite company. How about 100 and...